I'm not gonna start off with I'm excited. I'm ready. <laughs> I say I'm excited way too much. But I am, it's good to be excited about life. I have a lot to do today, so that is why I'm up at 6 a.m. heading to the gym. I still have like my bed head happening. I haven't put it up in a ponytail yet. It is actually getting cooler. It is 56 degrees, and this crazy chick right here, this one right here, is in shorts because I'm insane. I almost didn't even grab a jacket. Like I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna head to the gym, and my dad was like, um, Miha, it's cold outside. I was like, hmm, and I grabbed a jacket and I raced out. So. I'm trying something different with my pre-workout. Um, when my, my friend Ashley told me about it, I did iced coffee with a little bit of, oh, but I changed it up. This is chai tea latte, you guys. If y'all know me, I'm a sucker for some like good homemade chai tea that I just spilled in my car. So I'm finally home from the gym. It's about 10 o'clock, about to be 10 o'clock. Um, I knocked out an hour of my cardio. I still have some left. I did a little extra legs today, you know, four weeks out. So I'm just trying to make sure everything looks right and tight. I didn't film too much because my gym was a little, like insanely busy today for some reason, especially where I wanted to be, like in the weight area. And my back is killing me. I think all the posing practice, that's like a different range of movement on my body and like holding it and, and keeping your abs tight, keeping your back pop, that's a lot on your body. So I feel like I really felt it today on my lower back while I was trying to, you know, do my do my legs. But it's all good. I'm gonna give my body a rest. I'm gonna ice, take some Advil, and we're gonna go try on my bikini. And I'm super excited to see what it looks like on. And it's not like, it doesn't have all the diamonds on it yet. We're just doing the fitting, making sure it's cool, um, that there's there's no like adjustments that need to be made and then she's gonna go ahead and like cover it in diamonds with that being said I'm gonna freshen up and try to look like a normal human and put some makeup on so I'm here I'm a little early um, go figure I'm starting to struggle finding clothes that like fit me so I feel like like shorts pants that's why I, it's just so much easier just to wear spandex and workout clothes because nothing fits me look my watch doesn't even fit me Look, I even put a little bit of makeup on. Mm -hmm. Put some lipstick on. I just felt like I needed to like look a little bit better than what I have been lately. Oh, and I'm wearing one of my new necklaces. It is on my website. I'll have the link below. I absolutely love it. It's like a layered piece. It goes with literally everything. And this is one that I thought was really unique. And it's like actually all in one. So if you like it, it's on my website. I'm actually having, um, some products be released soon on my website. There's like some really cool hats and stuff that um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me wear and on my Snapchat and stuff. So I'll have the links down below, but I'm about to let her know that I'm here and go in. I'll show y'all um, all the pretty things she has in her workspace.
So I didn't film too much because she was super busy and I totally understand. Um, so I just kind of showed you what I could, but it's finished. Um, it fits right. So she's going to make final adjustments and then she's going to add all the diamonds. And hopefully um, the week of my show or hopefully sooner, it'll be ready. I'm that just made my day. It looks so good. So good. I'm glad I went with that color. We're good. My jewelry looks so beautiful against it. Like I can't wait. Okay, so cardio round two. I'm actually um, super tired and my knee is actually bothering me a little bit. So instead of doing the stairs, I'm doing the treadmill on a high incline um, just to get it done. Um, it's a pretty easy, easy speed. I do a 3.5 speed on an incline of 14.5. Uh, I can't sweat too much because I am still trying to like, you know, build muscle. So this is just a good way to just get some cardio done, get some calories burned without uh, burning muscle. So I'm going to do uh, finish my cardio and then I will throw on my heels. Um, depending on what's happening in that room, I may or may not film, but I got to get some posing practice in. Even though my back is killing me, it's all for a good cause, right? <laughs> hey guys, good morning. I'm so excited um, for today. It is. I'm actually currently sitting in the grass right now. It's so beautiful outside today. It's not humid, and you know, for Houston, that's a big deal. There's no humidity in the air. It feels nice and fresh. I'm over, I'm over here at TBN this morning. It's a Trinity Broadcast Network. We're doing a short film for a local pastor here. His name is Juan Martinez. He's one of my favorites. I'll link his information down below. He's the pastor of Get Rap Church, a phenomenal church. If you're in Houston, go check it out. Um, we're pretty much doing a reenactment of his testimony. So we're out here, it'll probably be, be an all day thing. Um, I'm doing makeup for like the bloody scene where he's all like cut up and on the side of the street and it's gonna be awesome. If y'all if y'all follow me and know me, I do do like wedding makeup and glam makeup, but I love doing like special effects makeup. So I brought all the blood and everything to make them look all cut up and I'm really excited about it. I packed my meals for the day. Um, since I'll be here all day, I think I packed like three meals. So I hope that that lasts me enough. But I just wanted to do, um, just say this real quick, I had a really rough morning today and it almost got to me, you know? Like my, my card wasn't working, I had to turn around and get gas, I was running late, like, and if, if I'm not on time, then I'm late. Like I'm that person and I was 30 minutes late, so y'all know that I was like freaking out trying to like get over here. But I just wanted to remind you, like I had to remind myself this morning, is that like people and situations and the world can't steal your joy because it didn't give it to you. I know that my joy comes from the Lord and people can't take what they didn't give to you. So they can't take my joy, but you also have to make sure that you don't give the, them the power to take it. So I was like, I had to stop. The, okay, so I went to the gas station, right? And she was really annoyed. I was really annoyed. She had, I guess she was like counting change and I was on the phone and they were like, hey, did you get it situated? And I'm like, I don't know. She's counting change. She hasn't addressed me yet. But I was being rude because clearly the lady could hear me. And I felt bad. So I, I gave her, you know, cash instead of my card because it wasn't working. I went and got my gas. And then I felt like a, like a go encourage her and I was having a bad morning. So I was like, you know what, God, fine. So I go over there and um, God gave me a word for her and I started, you know, just, I, I just wanted to bless her. Like, hey, you know what, I hope you have a blessed day. Like, you know, blah, 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 whatever. And it made me feel better, her attitude changed. And she was like, oh my gosh, I needed to hear that. And I was like, I needed to do that, you know? So I got in my car and I was like, see enemy, you can't steal my joy because I'm gonna go and I'm gonna encourage everybody when you're trying to discourage me. So I just wanted to give you that quick kind of encouragement right there um, just to, Know how to turn your day around. Don't let your day and your situations and circumstances bring you down because it doesn't have the power to. It only has the power to if you give it the power to. Anyway, so I'm gonna um, go back inside and I will um, keep y'all updated on today and all what we're doing. Apparently, I'm acting a part in this thing and I didn't know about that, so that's, uh, that's really exciting. All right, guys, so I'm back at y'all at TBN and I figured I would get the man of the day right What's here up? this is pastor juan martinez hey. to kind of just tell y'all what are we doing here today so what are we doing here okay, today? okay well i'm excited to also be i like when she you ever see her videos and she goes i'm right here and all that that's pretty awesome <laughs> and so um what we're doing is we're here at tbn uh, studios we're actually uh the 700 club did a video about my story and now tbn's doing a video about my story and what they're do what we're doing here today is actually you're gonna do all the makeup and make me look you know uh like we're gonna go back in time but bringing it to you so you could see it reenactment like it just i love reenactment it. yes yeah and so um we're gonna do that today out of a story that they kind of uh 
filmed a few months ago and now we're gonna do all the acting parts. So that's what we're here. And she's actually playing a role in the part. I just found that out this morning, like I was telling y'all, but I'm excited. I didn't know I was gonna wake up an actress today. Come on, that's what somebody. I was telling him. Hey, that's that's how you that's how God is though, his plan and his purpose. Sometimes if he would tell it, we would mess it up. But exactly. you know, so so he surprises us like that so we can remain childlike, I believe, man. I like childlike, childlike faith, y'all. Come on. Man, I, I'm excited, man. This girl, her blogs are rocking. I mean, they, <laughs> just they look, it's just joy. I mean, they rocking, though. They make it exciting, you know? So uh, we're excited to bring this to you. We want to give glory to God. You know, the Bible says that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb. But also, we can't leave out by the word of our testimony. Yeah. So, you know, this is... Share your stories. Yeah, it's, and, and your gifts and your talents. Think about it. We're all coming together to film a story so that it could give God glory and so that others that are probably going through the same thing can kind of come out of that because of the way we did. Yeah, so that's amen. Cool. So, all right, excited. we're going to wrap this up and I will shoot some clips and show y'all what we're doing around today. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> How y'all feeling? Y'all hyped up? Y'all ready for this scene well, right now? You know, you know we, we, we believe we've been made for such a time as this. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're, we're loving it. We're loving it. Eliana. What is it? Eliana Mua? Is it that? Makeup MUA makeup artist. MUA makeup artist. Ooh, more cameras. GoPro. Cameras everywhere. Getting, gonna getting hooked up over here. <laughs> All these He's going to get used to this. I don't know. <laughs> Not a guy, not a guy. All right, so we just started filming. We got the drone in the air. We're ready to get some footage of the car pulling in. And then I guess I'll do my part here in a little bit. Yeah, this is, this is it. <laughs> my hands are so dirty. This is my job. The blood. <laughs> All right, so I am finally home. Um, I had this great moment where like I'm like, oh my gosh, the cleaning ladies came came my room is clean and it wasn't me. I love that surprise. Um, I am so tired. It is about eight o'clock now. It took me an hour to get home from that a video that I'm so excited about y'all. It's gonna be phenomenal. Everybody at TBN were amazing, met some great connections. Um, I didn't get to film a lot like I thought I was because my hands were covered in blood because I was doing like the makeup and then by the time I went outside to like um, kind of, you know, add the blood and stuff like that, I couldn't even like reach my for my phone or grab my camera because I was standing around like this. So I did uh, Pastor Juan's makeup as well as did um, acting for like the, like the drug addict that was buying drugs from him. Um, I don't know. It's going to be really great. I'm going to uh, definitely vlog about it and post a link whenever it's done and, uh, and available. But I need to do an hour and a half of cardio and I still have my back workout to do. And it's 8 o'clock and I'm still sitting here. <laughs> I'm so tired. I had to remind myself that little sacrifices... Uh, mean nothing when it comes to the ultimate goal and I have a goal and I'm less than four weeks out and I can't play around and I can't miss a workout so I'm gonna my gym closes at 10 by the time I get dressed get my happy butt over there um, I'll probably just do my hour and a half of car cardio put on a movie and then um, I'll just have to catch up on my weights on Sunday which is my rest day which is never a rest day because situations like this happen and I'm like, uh, Sunday, everything gets thrown on on Sunday. But I have to go make those gains, right? Do you hear that? I think someone's coming upstairs. <gasps> oh, I was right. Did y'all know I had babies? Hi. What are y'all doing? Next, sit. Sit. This is Chico, my beautiful Chico. This one's my baby. Max. Max, let me let me see your cuteness. Let me see your cuteness. Hi, Bubbles. Yeah. Yeah, you too? Oh, you're getting jealous? 